پیبشتومی تاپ نونه ناس دن زویک متف کزی گودا ور بزی ایر اوج آن هاس سوار ناس نیس یکلی برا او اید اوج اید گام کنو خوز اید گایز نو فریج اید پارک سوز اید شنور نو شونج اید هوش زن هماین کزی در واد خاچ نمیاین Bishop Torko Manugyan was 46 years old when he stepped into the diocesan house in New York City to begin his first term of office in 1966. He seemed to perfectly capture the spirit of the time, youthful and dynamic, with an ambitious vision for the Armenian Church in America. Like the people he would lead, the new primate was eager to meet the world. For the Armenian Church of America, it was an auspicious moment. Half a century earlier, the Armenian people had endured the most terrible episode in their entire history. America had been a haven against death in the old world, but life in this adoptive home had brought its own share of struggle and sacrifice. Armenians had borne the cross, and that experience would not diminish in their memory. But now, the completion of an Armenian cathedral on American soil would be a potent symbol that the Armenians had overcome adversity, that they had defied annihilation, and that they would persist into the future. This, too, was the power of the cross, and the youthful Bishop Torquem would personify its spirit, both its burden of sorrow and its promise of hope. This would be the guiding theme of his ministry, the rationale for his incessant striving for excellence within the Church. It would propel him forward through a quarter century as primate and another twenty as Patriarch of Jerusalem. But its seeds had been planted on the other side of the world, in a refugee camp in the desert. He was born on February 16, 1919, on the outskirts of Baghdad, Iraq. His parents, having escaped death in the Armenian Genocide, named their newborn son with a prayer of hope. Avedis, Armenian for good news. Later in life, Archbishop Torkom would reflect that his life truly began at age 12, when he was sent to the Armenian Monastery of St. James in Jerusalem. It was there that he was ordained a priest in 1939, receiving the name of his beloved teacher, Patriarch Torkom Kushagyan. It was in Jerusalem that he became captivated by the mystery and majesty of Armenian sacred music. And in Jerusalem, he discovered his artistic vocation as a lyric poet. At the age of 27, the young father Torkom left the Patriarchate to begin a new ministry in the United States. He arrived in 1946 to serve as pastor at the Holy Trinity Armenian Church in Philadelphia. Over the next dozen years, he was a rising figure in the diocese. For several years, he led the seminary back in Jerusalem, but he returned to America in 1962 when he was elected as primate of the Western Diocese in California. Later that year, he was ordained a bishop by the hand of His Holiness Vasken I at the Cathedral of Holy Echmiadzin in Armenia. But all this was merely prologue to his life's mission as the Archbishop of St. Vartan Cathedral and Primate of the Eastern Diocese centered in New York. During nearly a quarter century under the leadership of Archbishop Torko Manugyan, the diocese realized a level of prestige in American society that the founding generation could hardly have imagined. Leading the way was a man who embodied the dignity of the Church, the artistry of the Armenian heritage, and the vital spark of warmth and hospitality which characterized the Armenian people. 
at their best. I will say that he struck me as a somewhat bashful person, really, deep down. Uh, but he had learned to cover his personal bashfulness. Whatever he was, he represented the Armenian church and the Armenian people with much dignity and grace. And we felt proud of him. And we wanted to be like him in certain ways. And he was eager to teach us how to bring out the best in us so that we too will serve, will give, and will achieve. He was especially beloved of the artistic community, whose members recognized in Torko Manogian a kindred spirit. The finest Armenian artists in the country became fixtures within the orbit of the cathedral. Archbishop Manugyan felt a special affinity for the 19th century musician priest Komitas Vartabed. The primate was one of the world's leading authorities on this guiding spirit of Armenian music, and as a musician and teacher himself, he shared his inspiration with others. A special, fatherly relationship developed between Torkom Serpazan and the priests under his charge. This was especially true of the young men he ordained into the priesthood. He was like a father to me. He was a good teacher. After my ordination, at least once a month, he called me to offer his guidance and also help. He always said, don't get shy, I am here to help you. And he guided me, he instructed me. He told me how to do my parish work. He became a father, a confidant, someone that I cherish for the rest of my life. At my ordination, he gave his baptismal name, Avedis. And I am honored. And every Badarak, I remember Turkum Sukhazan for the blessing that he has become. Despite stresses in the surrounding society, the 1970s and 80s were settled years for the Armenian church in America, thanks in large part to Torkom Surpazan's unique charisma and talent. But changes were in the wind. When Armenians in Soviet Azerbaijan became victims of pogroms in 1987, and a year later when an earthquake destroyed regions of Armenia, Archbishop Manugyan's ministry turned outward. In conjunction with Armenian cultural and patriotic organizations, the diocese became the conduit for the tremendous outpouring of goodwill and aid which the world directed towards Armenia. As a new decade began, the Armenian community celebrated the 50th anniversary of Archbishop Torkum's priestly ordination. No one at the time realized that this would mark the twilight of his ministry in America. On February 1st, 1990, Torkom Serpazan received the news that Patriarch Yerisha of Jerusalem had died. After informing his vicar general and eventual successor, Father Khajag Barsamian, he flew to Jerusalem to join his fellow members of the St. James Brotherhood. 
Seven weeks later, he was elected to the throne of St. James, Patriarch Torco Manugyan, 96th in a line stretching back to the 7th century. Over the years, Torcom Serpazan had frequently confided to friends that he had never ceased to regard the holy city, where he had lived as a boy and where he had entered into the sacred calling, as his home. At last, he had come full circle. In the subsequent 20 years, he worked to revitalize the Patriarchate and restore its role as a center for learning, pilgrimage, and scholarship. In 1994, following the death of Catholicos Vasken, the church turned to Patriarch Torkom once more to serve as locum tenens of Holy Etchmiadzin and to organize the history-making election of a new Catholicos. Having accomplished his task, the Patriarch returned to the Holy City to continue his own historic effort in Jerusalem. He remained there to the end of his life on October 12th, 2012. He had emerged as a boy out of the deserts of Baghdad to become a man of towering stature in Armenian religious and national life. Above all, Archbishop Torkom insisted on the dignity of the church as the foremost institution of the Armenian nation, the greatest expression of our national genius. It was through the church, he reminded us, that the Armenians had produced a Vartan, a Nerses Shunorhali, a Krikor Naragatsi, a Gomidas Vartabed. Torkom Serpazan was laid to rest in the Patriarchal Cemetery, alongside figures of similar stature, great Armenian churchmen of ages past. In death they are all together, awaiting that day when they will join the heavenly chorus to which Torkom Manugyan aspired his entire life, and where his powerful, inspirational voice will be heard once more.